Thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today we're going to work in our My Favorite Things art journal and the prompt is My Favorite Bug. So I know that um, ha having a favorite bug is kind of an odd thing to put in your My Favorite Things art journal, but there's so many options. There's You could do a beautiful page with ladybugs or dragonflies or a beautiful fuzzy caterpillar, um, butterflies. There's so many different bugs. Praying Mantis. Lots of fun things that could be done on making some beautiful art journal pages in your My Favorite Things. So the prompt for today is what is your favorite bug? <laughs> and mine of course is dragonflies and I wanted to figure out a way to use this beautiful decoupage piece. This came from Happy Mail from Mimi and I love this dragonfly. And I had done this art journal page a while back and it was in a binder style art journal that I no longer have and I saved the page. I was going to glue it into another one but it's kind of thick so I think I'm going to figure out ways to maybe incorporate parts of this onto this page. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut out this big dragonfly. It's on an old book page and it's really super thick so um, I'm going to just trim out this whole thing and then figure out how I can incorporate it into my book. So for my first layer, I'm just laying down some acrylic paint and letting it dry. And then going back in with a second color and doing some bright dry brushing. A third color and using a scrunched up piece of plastic. So once that's dry, now I'm going in and I'm using some antique white and I'm just going along the whole edge of the book, of the page. And I'm just brushing it and adding it to the edge to make kind of a border and tie it all in. And then I'm going to do some little strokes here and there and just make this look really pretty. And here's what it looks like when it's dry. I like it. It's very um, subtle. So now I've got my pieces cut out and ready to go and I'm just laying them out on the page. I'm using art glitter glue to put the big one down because it's really kind of thick. So I'm going to just put art glitter glue on the back and apply it to the page. For the rice paper element, I'm going to use matte gel medium to apply it to the page. So I put down a liberal amount of matte gel medium and then put the image into place and then put matte gel medium over the top of the image. Here's how it looks after it dried and I trimmed off the excess. I love how this looks and it's so textured because it was really thick. It almost feels like wallpaper. I love how it turned out adding it, those elements from another art journal page that I was upcycling, so to speak. So now what I'm going to do um, in the back of this, I love these swirls. So I'm going to bring that swirl out and then add some more swirls just like it and do, do some doodling around the page. So I'm using a navy blue Posca pen and I'm just going to recreate those doodles in navy blue all over. Here's how they look and I really like it. it added some whimsy and a fun element of movement to the page. I have a very important photo that I want to add to my layout so I'm using my little HP Sprocket photo printer. It prints out a tiny little photo that is sticky on the back that you can add to your art journal and it comes from the photos that you have on your iPhone, your computer, or your uh, tablet. So it's blinking, it's thinking, and it's about ready to print out a photograph. And 
here comes the photo. They're so cute. <laughs> it's just a cute little sticky back, you peel and stick photo. And I just love it. I use it all the time for my art journals for adding just a photo that's important. And here is my photo of my dragonfly that I'm going to tell a story about. I'm going to use this upcycled little envelope that used to have a tie string on it that's for extra buttons when you buy a blouse and it has uh, matching buttons to it. And I'm going to distress this and crinkle it and ink it and make it all fun and funky. And I'm going to write the story and put it inside this envelope and I think I'm going to put the picture on top. So now that I've crinkled up this envelope and made it all grungy, I love that, I'm going to take some Tim Holtz Distress Ink in um, Faded Jeans and I'm going to go over this crumpled up envelope. And instantly it just turns into something really, really cool. Woo! I love it. I printed it out onto paper. I printed it on um, and used blue text so it would go with the layout. And here is my quick story. The day I saw a dragonfly smile. One day I left my house to go somewhere in my car and I noticed a dragonfly on the antenna. They are my favorite thing, my spirit animal, so to speak. The symbolism and what they mean tugs at my heartstrings. I stood watching it and expecting it to quickly fly away. They are always moving and quite shy. But this one stayed, sitting there watching me as much as I was gazing at him. It was truly a magical experience. I ran into the house to get my camera, knowing full well that when I would return, it would probably be gone. But there it was, as if it were watching for me and waiting. I smiled and snapped the photo. We watched each other for the longest time. It turned its head as if it were studying me intently. Later, when I uploaded the photos from my camera to my computer, I stood in amazement at what I saw. The dragonfly was smiling at me truly a magical moment I will never forget. So here is my smiling dragonfly and I'm going to add that to my envelope on top and trim it to fit and I'm going to put my envelope down and I'm going to cut this and tri-fold it to stick in my little envelope. Here's my envelope with my dragonfly on it and my story inside and before I glued it I put a ribbon through it that's just going to hang out the top of my book. And now I'm going to add some just some detail elements. I've got some magic mesh that I've cut into half circles and things. I'm going to just really jazz this up with some texture. It sticks on. So I'm just going to add some here and there for interest and texture, more texture on the page. love how my mesh pieces added some texture. I put it across the envelope and it really tied that photo in, makes it look a little bit better and it's just, it's just pretty. Another fun element and I love texture on my pages. So now I'm going to take um, an Arteza brush pen and I'm going to go around the wings of this butterfly so it's going to make like a shadow since it's a brush marker and it's got a fiber tip, it's easy to just go in and make brush stroke lines to make that dragonfly look like it's popping off the page. I added these little embellishments that I had. They're very, very tiny and they're super sparkly. They're like little miniature flowers. I think I got them probably at Hobby Lobby. And I'm using a uh, Statler fine liner in a turquoise color and I'm going to just go in and add some more doodling in the background and the color is going to blend nicely because it's colors that are within my dragonfly so I'm going to do some doodling in teal with the background doodling it's just delightful I love the 
interest that brings to the background that just adding that doodling in that teal color that blends in but you still see it now I'm going to take a Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 and I wanted something really bright so I got yellow green it's super super bright and I'm going to just add some pops of color like I have done a million times but it's my go-to favorite thing to do is just go through and here and there randomly throw in some bright and colorful pops of color. I love the green pops of color. It made it really come to life. Super pretty. I did take a um, navy blue fine liner and I went around this dragonfly just to make it stand out just a touch. It was fading away too much in the background. And now for the last thing, I'm going to use my word punch board and I'm going to punch out my words for the page. So with this cute little thing, you just line up your little your letters and then you punch them out. And I'm going to use this metallic blue, navy blue cardstock to punch my letters out onto. So I'm going to do the words my favorite bug. So I'm going to use my words because I think they're really nifty and I like that if you put them on the page I think it's going to look really fun that the colorful background is going to show through. So on this particular layout I'm going to use the um, solid pieces of words but then what I do is with the letters that are punched out I keep those in a baggie so that when I'm needing to make a word on a page I have all different kinds and all different colors all different letters that are just random letters that I can put together to make a word on an art journal page so I saved all those little punched out ones I took my Posca pen and I drew around my little words and that completes my page. I love it. It was super fun and I hope you enjoyed it and maybe it gave you some fun ideas of something to try in your favorite things art journal. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So are you going to do butterflies? Are you going to do ladybugs? Beetle bugs? There's all kinds of bugs. So this is going to be a fun one. And thanks a lot for the people who are playing along. There's a Facebook group you can join to post your work and show what you create. And if not, and you're just doing it at home for fun to create your My Favorite Things art journal, then um, thanks a lot for watching, and we've got a couple more to go before we're done with the project. If you're just new to this, there's a prompt list, and it starts from the very beginning. There's no time limit on this. It's any time. Pick up your art journal and your supplies, make some pages, and have some fun. So check out the prompt list, and you can see all these pages that we've completed together. Thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Have a blessed day and go make art because art soothes the heart.